Hey, what's up, folks? Ella up here on set from Creative Sound, Creative University. I got a product here that I want to review. I'm talking into the product right now. It is the PD70. Yes, uh, gratitude to Personas for sending me this. I've had my eye on this for quite some time. I always wanted the Sure SM7B, so um, I guess I got my equivalent to it. Unfortunately, I don't have the SM7B, so I can't do a review. I can't do a side-by-side -side comparison to, you know, to that one versus this one. But um, this is what we got. This is what we got, the PD70. And I'll, I'll throw a couple of images on screen just so you can see what it looked like. But since I need to talk in the mic and you guys are listening to me, um, I might as well talk about the um, the the courses, right? I have a deal on the courses right now. You can get two courses at $54 right now. There is a coupon code in the description of this video. Yes, indeed. Each courses right now online is 44 bucks. But I'm giving you guys two for 54 so there, there, there you have it. That's my my little shameless plug. And um, I also released a new sample pack. Yeah, my very first sample pack. And there will also be a link for that. And there's also a deal to get two courses for uh, a deal through that route as well. So, yeah, the links will be in the description of this video. But um, just to show just just to show you guys that there is nothing coming out any any effects or compressors anything that's that's coming out this is the raw form the raw form of this mic i'm gonna throw up this uh the screen so you guys can show so i can show you guys just to prove to you guys because i know i have some people that goes man you may man, 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 there, you you might have eq and compression on it blah, 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 you know what i mean so i'm just gonna show you guys so right here on the screen you can see that there is nothing. I'm using universal control. This is how my mic is plugged in. It's plugged in through the interface, the uh, Studio Mobile interface, 192 Studio Mobile that I have. I've been using this thing for years, and I love it. This thing has DSP technology, which means I can throw in EQ compression and or a limiter and even reverb if I want to through this thing with before it even touches Studio One or any DAW or any streaming platform service that you guys watch me through via youtube so this is the plugin that that i well it's not a plugin it's a software this is what i'm using now on my mic one you can see clearly that i have gate i have gate activated i have compression activated i also have the limiter and this is how you guys hear me here on youtube through these settings through my other mic that's wrapped around my head but um on this mic too is where i have this mic plugged in and you don't see any of these buttons being activated so i'm coming in raw the only thing about this mic i probably may have pushed it a little bit but no i didn't even do that everything is a unity gain this is how you guys looking um listening to this now if i was to activate what i really want to sound like and this is this is what you guys will have to do when you when you uh when you purchase this mic you have to of course you have to do a little extra just to get it to sound a little bit better which is not a problem i'm okay with it because that's what i've all, always done even with the mic you guys hear that's wrapped around my head the sm35 I, even that mic i i have my own settings so if i can go to the settings right quick and activate all right, so if I activate everything that I like to use, this is kind of the sound that I, I would rather go for. Um, my voice is a little bit more beefier, and you know, this is this is kind of where it is for me. I have the gate on to protect my voice from any sounds around me. Um, sometimes there's fans going on, and there's like other activity in this space that I'm that I'm in. It's not it's not completely soundproof. It's not soundproof at all, actually, but this setting is what helps. My voice sounds a little bit beefier. You know what I mean? I cut down the highs and it's got that radio voice. You know, I like that radio voice. I probably, I can probably add a little bit more EQ to here. It's probably too much. I, yeah, there we go. 
I like that. I like that. I like that setting. That setting is, is, is solid. I like how that sounds. There's still a little bit bottom end to my voice. There's compression on here to give that that nice beefy sound and a little, little, little EQ. So this is kind of my curves. It works for my voice. Yours might be different. So yeah, that's that's pretty much the setting of the mic for my voice. It works. You know, I like that setting for my, my voice if I was to record doing videos, voiceover, whatever. Now, I will say for this mic, they are marketing this towards the podcast users. They specifically said that this mic is not designed for vocal singing and, and such like that now i will say this that that might be true but i feel that's also the reason behind the the sure sm7b mic and it just so happened that michael jackson did his his records using that mic because of just how it sounds that it's a really great mic most of the times you guys will see this style mic used by podcasters, radio hosts, talk hosts, talk shows, whatever. This is the the style of mic that, that you would see for for that you wouldn't necessarily see this type of mic for a vocalist. I mean, just look at it. It doesn't look as sexy as a condenser mic, right? So the difference between a condenser mic and a dynamic mic, which this this is what this is, this is a dynamic mic, so that means that you might have to boost the volume a little bit more than you would a condenser mic. A condenser mic requires 48 volt phantom power. That's how those works. And of course, that gives that mic a boost in volume and, and it's, it's pretty much sensitive. But a mic like this is a dynamic mic. You always have to boost these a little bit more. I do like the foaming around this mic. It, 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 it definitely protects from those plosive sounds as you guys p p you know what i mean just imagine if i took this the cover off of this mic it, it would man it would definitely create a boomy situation and that's not what we're going for but um this mic to me personally i like how this mic sounds it, it adds that i can get this thing to sound really great that radio sound that you know mic your 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 mouth close to the mic which which we call proximity effect where we in the mic and we make announcements cool radio style announcements on this mic so this this mic is great for that type of stuff i definitely love i love this mic like i said i had my eye on this for a while and um yeah this is a great mic they even says it on the box it's a broadcast mic this is this is something you use for for broadcast and it's a little bit cheaper than the sure so if you are looking at the budget and you, you you're not really concerned about the sound too much because there is a sound difference i've seen some videos i'll tell you that i've seen a few videos where some guys did a comparison i can't do a comparison because i don't own one of those mics but the comparison was slightly different the of course the sure SM7B sounds a little bit better in my opinion, but it's not that bad. This one is more more so on the higher end in terms of frequency, the the way that it sounds. Like there's not much bass in. They kind of cut, they nudge that out. You know what I mean? But you can add that back, just like you guys saw me do. When we started this video, you noticed that my voice was a little bit more on the higher side, you know, not the bass was cut out. It's a little bit more bright. That's the word I'm looking for. It's a little bit more bright. But now that I add my settings, then, you know, it's I'm cool with it now. You know what I mean? So, you know, I, like I say, I'm cool with that. I don't I don't mind that. I, I've always done that to mics or when I mix. I've always went in and try to EQ and make the mic sound close to what I'm looking for. But I mean, the mic doesn't sound that bad. It doesn't sound about let, let, let's go back to let, let's cut it out. Let's let's go back to the 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 default sound. All right. So depending on how this mic sound in the in post editing, I may have to adjust the volume. All right. So I just want to let y'all know the only thing that I may have to adjust is the volume. So if you're looking at the fact that my voice sounds louder than before, then. You know, I don't want to call you an idiot, but you you know, I had some I had some comments like that. 
Oh, it's not like you in, you increase the volume. Like, really? No. Like, you, you're listening to the quality of the vocal. You, the I've I've done several mic reviews, and in, it's the things that people pay closer close attention to versus the the most important part of of the video. It, you know, it's it's pretty interesting to me. But we're listening to the the quality now. That that's a big difference, actually. So this is this is the the mic. This is the the raw form. Um, like I say, it's, it's a little bit brighter. If that's what you into, that's great. Maybe you are someone with a, a really bassier voice. Something like this might help with that. You know what I mean? So it, it's like it depends on who you are, your voice. Um, if you are a woman, you probably need to go in to set yours up according to your voice. Just kind of like, you know, carve down the highs or whatever. Because, you know, women has the... The higher frequency, your S's are more sharper. Your, your voice is it's a little bit more lighter than a, than a male voice. So it, it will have to be set differently. But I like to go after that broadcast mic, mic sound. You know what I mean? But overall, for the price, for the price of this mic, um, I got to say, like, I would go for this all day. I'll go for this all day. If, if all I have to do is just play with the settings, man, okay. This is this is this is dope. In terms of like the um in the, again, I can't compare it to the other mic, but it it's got a little weight to it. So make sure you have a mic stand that can support this this mic because it it will definitely fall over if you don't have the proper support. Um but yeah, it's cool. I like it. Um I don't have any I like it. I like it. I'm I'm cool with it. So I think that's the that's just the gist of the the video. That's that's pretty much all I, all I have. You guys are more than welcome to check out the site and read up on the details. I just did this video just so you guys can hear the difference between the raw form or just hear it overall. You know what I mean? A lot of guys are asking me, "Hey, can you compare it?" Well, unfortunately, no. I can't compare it. But again for the price and i mean i don't know i don't know what to tell you um yeah i think it's a i think it's a good mic in, in my opinion i look at it like this you're gonna pay of course sure is a great mic sure been out for forever since i i can remember i've owned several sure mics i've i've been in the presence of, of several sure mics if i'm looking at it from from a, a standpoint of price basically you're going to pay a little bit more money to buy a mic that that's already set up to give that beefy sound versus buying this mic and you can create the beefy sound for free. So, like if you think of it like that, like you you're you're obviously going to pay a little more 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 money I, I, in, to me it just it just makes sense to to buy a mic like this is and it's not a cheap mic you know what i mean like this this the mic is priced low but it's not it doesn't feel cheap it feels very sturdy it feels it's feel it feels very solid you know what i mean like it, it i know i know what a cheap mic feels like i know what a cheap mic sounds like i've i've dealt with several of them i've i've been doing this for a very long time and this does not by far give off the the idea that it's a cheap mic. That's kind of the idea behind the persona's name, which is the reason why I I stand by their brand and, and, and why I use most of their gears because I feel like they create products that that are quality but but more affordable. I use their monitors. I plan on purchasing a, a couple more pairs. Um, I, I've I, I've I, I own two Mackie monitors. And some KRK, so I, I know what what speakers are supposed to sound like. I've I've been in front of several speakers. These two right here that I have is is fire to me. The, these are these are really nice. The interface that I have that I'm that this mic is plugged in through. This interface is 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 amazing. I I had this interface for some years. I only had one issue with it uh, with the up updating firmware and that was the only issue i had with it but i've owned this 
this interface for for some years now and it has never failed me um like I, like right now when i'm able to show you guys right here through the universal control surface area i gotta see if that's really what it's called because sometimes i get the name mixed up but uh yeah this universal control yeah <laughs> um this thing right here the way that it's set up is is it's it's amazing how i can eq my voice put compression on it a limiter a gate all of this inside the app and set it to to post production that that way you know i i don't have to go through studio one or whatever i remember doing that or i had to set my mic up to go through the doll the software and then put eq and compression and when you do that you know you create latency issues I, I hated that. So when they came out with this interface, I went and bought that and it was like a no brainer. And it's just been my main my main interface ever since then. So and then Studio One, of course, you know, I just feel like everything that they besides their headphones, I, I, I didn't really care for their headphones or, or the first version. The headphones was crappy to me. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to keep it 100. All right. So this is how my my voice sounds. You know, with without anything, and for some people, I guess you will want to see or hear what this mic sounds like without the muffle on here. So I'm gonna pull this off, and as you can see, when I talk in this mic, you can see the plosive, the beep. You know, let's think of some word: blue, p, Peter, Pan, pickle, Piper. I have new sample packs available. Sample packs, guitar packs. So that's what it sounds like without the muffle. So the 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 muffle def definitely the the mic filter the the, plo, the plosive the 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 plosive eliminator. I don't know whatever you want pop filter whatever you want to call it. P. So sample pack sample pack. I have new sample packs available for you guys. The link is in the description area. All right, so. That's what it is. I'm Ella from Creative Sound, Creative University. Re remember, music is art. You the artist. Paint your picture. Pick up those sample packs. Stay creative without rules. <laughs>